What up my freaks, Ruinous in sight here with part 21 of my Erratus Lord of the Dead Let's Play. So as we saw last time, the fifth and final floor is fairly difficult thus far in actually dealing out some damage to our minions and indeed having killed the Dark Knight. Fortunately, the death of the Dark Knight is not all that important at this stage in the game simply because we are now switching to a single team because we have uncovered both the uh, Spirit Chainmail and the Spirit Spear which we need to get buffs on all of our characters which we will be bringing to the final battle. I'm not entirely sure who is going to be at the final battle, but I'm completely 100% sure that the Fallen Dampier and the Mummy are both going to be there because I like them as they are. Indeed, I have started assigning a few, well, just two, just two of our legendary items or legendary minion parts giving two to this Fallen Dampier. We will hopefully replace the others as we get them. This gave the Dampier a bunch of extra stats of course, and I did assign. Those still haven't gotten the extra block and ward. I'm not 100% sure whether we want to do that right now or whether we want to do it at all. Um, depends on how much extra points we get. Of course, it does help, but it does sort of nullify the feature. On the other hand... Enemies do a lot of damage now. As we saw, the Dark Knight basically instantly uh, died in a single set of turns, so we have to be real careful. So, let's go in like this first. Let's try with the Blood Phantasm, even though I'm almost completely sure we won't be bringing the Blood Phantasm to the final fight, because it keeps just getting killed fairly easily, and I don't like that, but on the other hand, I don't know who to replace it with. I just plain don't know. Ideally, what I'd like is to have a second tanky character to, to uh, basically stand behind the mummy. But I don't know which character would fit the bill there. I mean, the Blood Phantasm is really not that tanky, even though it's supposed to take hits. Its vigor is just not enough. And it has very little evasion and stuff. Hmm, maybe if we upgrade it a bunch, but it's probably... I don't know if it's worth the investment right now. Anyway, let's try it out a little bit. I mean, there's also the option of putting the Blood Phantasm in the second position and then simply getting Martyr's Rags, and putting the Martyr's Rags, which uh, redirect 100% chance on the Mummy, which basically keeps the Blood Phantasm safe, but then what would be the point of the Blood Phantasm? It wouldn't be able to heal anybody, because all the attacks towards it get redirected except for AoE attacks. Hmm. We could also put the uh, Orb of Negation on the Blood... Anyway, anyway, this is, uh, this is something we'll uh, play around with a little bit more as we head to the uh, final boss. Let's fight this first fight... Uh, have we seen these guys before? Huh, some of these look new. Wait, I just want to double check the Humanarium token here. Uh, what do we have here? We have the Knight, the Champion, and the Paladin. That's it, okay, well. Oh, let's see, let's see what we're working with here. I'm excited. This floor is making me excited for all the uh, uh, difficult battles. Okay, well, you I don't recall ever seeing. What are you? Standard Bearers. Standard Bearers have a long and proud tradition of dying in the line of duty while holding up the symbol of the realm. But that is exactly the reason why they are so affected at boosting morale. As long as you have some poor sod to act as the target for your enemy, you can worry less about your own hide. Give them a few minor blessings, and it is a little and it is little surprise that fighters are much more eager to fight in the presence of target uh, Standard Bearers. Feature, while the stand bear is alive, his eyes take 50% less damage, we stress damage, rather we don't care about that. Have we seen these guys before? I don't know. Inquisitor, to serve as an inquisitor is to serve as the right hand of the Grand Magister himself. Any human organization will have its fair share of traitors and dissenters after all, which means the bloody work of an inquisitor is never done. On rare occasions, they are also sent to act as diplomats on behalf of the Order, where even without violence, they put forth a terrifying display of power. It is unfortunate for them that the undead in no, no fear indeed. Mercenary Captain, while originally posted in the barracks, most of them quickly evacuated before the first flood of undead could arrive. Smart. Smart. Cowardly and with a bit of a drinking problem. Very smart. <laughs> Caused by overindulging in potions, they are still pretty impressive fighters. And now that they have no place to run and no underlings to throw against Doradus... Agreed. It's a, it's a true problem when you run out of underlings. Uh, they will fight tooth and nail to keep themselves alive. Alrighty, well, let's A. I'll click on that. Okay, let's see what we got here. I suppose we could just take out the knight first, so let's start with the Sundering Storm. Strip it of its uh, armor. There we go, a little bit of a damage, you get yourself a buff, unfortunately, for us. You know, I probably could have uh, buffed you guys up a little bit, but hey. Uh, now, we could start with the Moaning Chains, or we could go straight into a Rage Injection. You are a little bit hurt, so maybe if somebody does something AoE, at least you'll heal everybody. Let's do that. There we go. 
Rage Injected. Uh, then we go for... Oh, I don't like how three of them are going to move at the same time. That's always a concern. Yeah, we need to heal you. Let's go for Hunger for Hearts. Uh, let's hope you get a nice crit out of this uh, returning strike. Come on, come on, crit, crit, crit. No crit, damn. It did heal you, but not nearly as much as I'd like. What are you gonna do? Crit debuff, oh. Minus 25 accuracy, at least... Ah, okay, there we go. At least you've healed everybody, but how... You need to heal yourself now. And you can't heal yourself from that position. Oh, you leave the vampire alone. What are you gonna do? What the hell is that? Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just a deb. Oh, right. Uh, mummy, eat all debuffs. Yeah. Yeah, that's mummy for... A. Hey. So that... Mm, you know what's annoying about that? It both breaks the stance and stuns you. Or I guess stuns break stances, but I feel like you took damage while you were in the stance, so you should heal everybody before you got stunned. So yeah, this is exactly the problem with the Blood Phantasm. Like, what good is it? It can't heal anybody right now, and it's already taken so much damage and can't even heal itself. It's a problem. Anyway, we are going to use a muck on you. Rage release. Yeah, alrighty. You have pretty good luck. Let's see how much damage you're going to do to Mr. A Knight over here. Ooh, hope that we'll pretty damn decent. Let's, uh, we want to give the kill to the vampire, so hopefully we can uh, do that. You're going to skip your turn, vampire. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Nice crit, nice crit, vampire. Good job. Alright, that worked out pretty well. You're in full HP now. You have no debuffs to eat. I'm almost tempted to make you skip the turn to the end of the round so that they can all apply their debuffs. Let's do that. Wait for your turn. Are you gonna debuff? Yeah, there you go. There's the debuffs coming in. Mummy, you get ready to eat them. Oh, is the Blood Phantasm dead? Oh, wow, that hurt you a lot. Damn. Yes, this is exactly what I mean. When a bunch of them move at the same time, they do insane amounts of damage. We need a lot more vigor on everybody. Uh, you now eat said debuffs. There we go. Yeah, we really need the mummy. Uh, you, unfortunately, you need to use aim for the heart, and hopefully you'll crit, because, uh... Yeah, we really need you to recover your HP. I'm almost tempted to use magic, but... Mm, might not be a good idea right now. You know what? Yeah, just go for aim for the heart. Let's see. Oh, but you have... You have armor, which we can't reduce unless... Oh, damn, how are we gonna do this? This is a problem. This is very much a problem. Hmm. Yeah, so what I'm realizing is that this guy's 30 armor, which means... Eh. I'll just hope you have crit. Come on, crit, crit, crit. Yes, Savor okay, you're these last okay. few heartbeats. But now since we didn't remove your armor, you're going to be alive, which means your returning strike isn't that going to be that helpful. We could do something like a Grand Auspex. Rem All attacks against the targets ignore block and ward, which won't need to use that, but then you won't be able to heal yourself off of doing it. We could also use it on, let's say, one of you guys to remove all that block and ward. Who's been doing the most damage? I feel like the Inquisitor does quite a bit. Oh, but this also moves the Vampire forward. It'll move you into the fire, which means you'll start burning. Hmm. That's also a concern. But it will move the Blood Phantasm back where hopefully it won't get killed. I guess we can risk it. I hope this doesn't screw us over. Right. Grand Auspex time. Forward. And you're ignited. Uh, hopefully the mummy will eat said ignition. You, you can't heal yourself from this far away. Your only heal is up close. That's yet another problem. I don't like the Blood Phantasm. Too fragile. Uh, just too fragile. Now, I guess, suppose you could use a tor Torment Eternal, but do we really need to? You're already Grand auspex Marks a minion, any characters damaging the minion. I suppose we could go mark a vengeance on, say, the vampire. Just in case it gets attacked. I mean, I feel like the vampire is the most likely to get attacked at this stage. We could hit an enemy with the uh, moaning chains, but it just does so little damage right now. Nah, just do it. Do the mark. Do the roar. There you go. I knew it. Oh, it's a debuff. Mommy, eat. I know you hunger. Uh, we could also move you to the end of the round as well. Uh, characters that attack the Mark Minion receive 49 blah 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 magical damage. Douse and Tonic. Yeah, you know what? You're going to wait until they all cast their debuffs and then you're going to eat them. I love the mummy. Go figure. I never thought that the mummy would be my favorite tank, but it's really quite useful. Remove buffs. Oh, how dare you? Uh, well, remove debuffs. Oh, did that remove Hunger for Hearts as well? Nope, Hunger for Hearts is permanent. Well, that's lovely. Uh, you, Sunring Storm on you, remove that armor. Terror 
really you can't heal yourself well. back here, which is a little bit of an issue, and you can't really do anything back here, can you? Oh, that removed the mark from the vampire as well, didn't it? Probably should have just gone for you. Nah, but whatever. The mercenary captain's near dead. I'm almost tempted to use uh, Moaning Chains on you, just because it might uh, allow the vampire to kill you next turn. Although I fear you might be dead. I'm not sure we could do anything about this, because you can't heal yourself. At least not from this position. And even if we were to move you forward, you wouldn't be able to heal yourself. Yeah. Just do this. Moaning Chains, a vampire. Hopefully kill this thing before it can do anything. And go for that deep bite. Yes. Brit players. Oh, is it really alive with... Really? You're really gonna be alive? Oh, is there any... You know what? I think we have to use Cursed Doll. Damn. Oh, we needed you to die Ooh, so you couldn't do anything. Alrighty, now you've been hurting yourself with those uh, Crimson Chains, and uh, oh, you've hit the Mummy twice, so your luck is in a bad way. Uh, mummy, once again, you're gonna have to use Cursed Feast, then you remove all those debuffs. I could have waited for you, but you're going to set the Mummy on fire. Well, the Mummy's fine. Out of everybody here, the Mummy's just gonna be uh, just fine. Mark of Vengeance, or move it up with a Impaling Charge. I don't trust it. You'll just die. Uh, Let's go for... Yeah, I'll just keep going with Mark of Vengeance on the Vampire, I think. I think she's still the most likely to get hit. And there we go. Keep up with the Deep Bites. They do a decent amount of damage, and now they ignore Block and Ward. There we go. Not a crit, unfortunately. You. Uh, attack this. Uh, there's no armor to remove, but we need the Inquisitor dead. Ah, oh, that's a nice fail, amount of damage. Bodies fail. Well, this is why you're a Legend, Dampier. And you, uh, you're going to wait until the end of the round. Yeah. I'll let them debuff you again. Or attack you, whatever. Oh, look at him swinging around his stance. His Good job, mummy. Heal. There we go. Nice. Nice. And you. Oh, you could finish the... Wait, I feel like you could finish either one of them. Who has less HP? Uh, the Inquisitor has less HP. I want the Vampire to get the kill. Fine. You go for Sunring Storm on this guy. Remove the armor. Will he live? Oh, well, at least you've removed the armor, so... <laughs> that worked out. You use Moaning Chains, it definitely won't kill the Inquisitor, so the Vampire... Okay, never mind, it crit for 141, I did not expect that. Not gonna lie, did not expect that at all. Oh, but you're not gonna be able to kill this guy, you're too... You won't do enough damage. As I don't think so. Try it, I suppose. Yeah, you crit, but not enough. Fail you. But he did get stunned, so... Oh, he burned alive. As Wait, so whose kill does that count as? Huh, I don't know. Uh, let's see, we got a gambling chip. All enemies gain 15 vigor until the end of the battle ends. Erratus gains 6... Oh, we need we need to use that ASAP. Uh, let's see, we got a coward's foot. The minion performs an additional action in round 1. How is that a coward's foot? It's not running away. You get to attack possibly twice. That seems useful. I really wish we could stop getting these sharpened bones everywhere. They're not that good. I mean, it's decent to be able to ignore block and ward, but, uh... Hey, we got another Philosopher's Stone. Okay, we're gonna use that immediately. Uh, let's see, what kind of enemies are we fighting up next? We got another Inquisitor, a Captain, a Paladin, and a Knight, I believe. That's so pretty heavy on the armor side of things. Obviously, we can't bring the Blood Phantasm. It's just getting wrecked. So the question is, whom... Who can take its place? Hmm. Who can take its place? Nobody else can heal itself, though. Uh, the Wraith is a sort of... Uh, is a sort of evasion tank. But the thing is, once the Wraith starts taking damage, it can't do anything about it. Man, are we really need... I feel like we really needed the Bone Golem here. I'm just assuming, never having seen what the Bone Golem can do. Uh, let's go for Philosopher's finally, Stone first, we'll do the Gambling Chip after. To my capable hands. Yes, yes, Aratus, I know, I know. Uh, keep these guys attacking, though. Hmm. The Headhunter is decent, but once again, it can't heal itself. It does... Re ah, if only it could heal itself in any way. If, there, if only there was an item that would uh, heal based on the damage you did. You did. If there is, I don't think it's one that we have. Yeah. But then, who do we bring for the final fight? The Lost Soul? But the Lost Soul can't heal itself. 
She can de or she can buff a lot of the uh, a lot of these guys, but once she starts taking damage, she'll just start dying. I guess we could try it with the Lost Soul. She is pretty useful in her ability to give everybody. Uh, no, but I don't like the fact that. Uh, uh, I don't like the fact that Dubious Boon reduces the damage that your team does. And Benevolent Spirit, nobody here... Yeah, you know what? No, this doesn't work. It doesn't work with this team. It really, really doesn't work. So who? Now, let's see. The Shade. Will the Shade work in any way with this team? You can start spamming Deep Shadows, but there's no way to make them move around, which is kind of a problem. Void Claws won't work at all, because they're not insane. Uh, Black Radiance, you could start debuffing all their accuracy, which would help with being an evasion team. It is only for two turns. Mm, I'm almost tempted to make a different shade that's more focused on uh, Glimpse the Dark World, so it would reduce their luck, thereby increasing the team's luck. As a support, but again, the shade can't heal itself. Uh, wait, yes it can. But only with Void Claws, which we can't use because nobody's insane. Damn. Uh, Pain Reflection, all successful attacks against your minions cause the attack to... Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that's stress damage, it doesn't really help. At least Dark Gate would help us recover our mana. We could just start spamming mana, but it's only 6 per move, and it's really not that much. I'm really having a tough time thinking of a minion that would be good on the last fight. If only the Bride could heal itself. Or herself, rather. Can you do any kind of damage? I believe you can only do stress stuff. Uh, we could just start spamming Morbid Howl, but it costs so damn much wrath, that's kind of the problem. You do do Vigor damage because of your Spider Mandibles, though. Hmm, and you can use Morbid Howl, oh, but you can't use Accelerando, so we could ha we'd have to put you in the third row. And once you get damaged, there's no way to heal you either. And your buffs don't really help. Uh, hmm... Whenever an enemy moves, was a target to random position, removes all buffs. We have a spell for that. Damn it. I guess we could just try it with a Banshee. I just feel like we won't be... She's not a single target enemy, that's the thing. We won't be bringing her to the boss, and it's the boss that we need. Who the hell do we bring? Skelly Boy? But what's the use of having Skelly Boy in this? Uh, he has a Jester's Visage, so that'll mean he'll just get constantly targeted, and he has no way to heal himself. So what? <sighs> and using Unnerving Fortitude is probably a bad idea in his case, too. Ah. <sighs> yeah, this is a, this is a toughie. It's certainly a toughie. I guess we could try it with the Skelly Boy. But we can't put him in the back row, so he's definitely just... The exact same thing is gonna happen to him that just happened to the Blood Phantasm. Man. That's tough. That's tough. I suppose he does have the ability to possibly power up the Vampire, though, with the uh, Creepy Clank. You know what, let's try it for the Skelly Boy. If he dies, he dies. Uh, where is he? Oh, I put him here, okay. Let's try like this. Uh, you can use Creepy Clank from this. Yes, you can. Mummy, Skelly, Fallen Dampier, Vampire. Alright, let's try it. And it's not like the Skelly Boy's gonna get anything out of the uh, Spirit Chainmail and the Spirit Spear. But it is what it is, let's try it. You guys, mm, go right here, battle. Uh, let's see what we're looking at. Uh, you, you're gonna immediately attack the Skelly Boy. Uh, you, Creepy Clank, let's see if this works out. Carve open their husks. Well, we got three and Yeah, but the thing is, this is good for these guys, but it's not good for the boss. Yes, it vastly powered up the vampire, but... Oh, wait, can't you remove buffs as well? Hmm. We could now- wait, wait, wait. What can you do from the back row? Uh, show them the, their place, pushes you forward, embrace mediocrity. 
I guess you could start spamming Embrace Mediocrity. Hmm. Let's see, the target gains 5 armor and 5 resistance. That would work if we moved you forward. Smite won't work from the back row, and Shield Banger also won't work from the back row. Basically, you can't really do anything other than Forceful Lesson from the very back. Hmm. Okay. And I don't want to use Exquisite Thrust because it'll push you forward. Alright, well, let's remove the champ. Oh, the champion. Oh, we have to kill the champion right away, don't we? Yeah, we have to kill the champion right away. Alright, well, go for a Agony Blast, I think. We should probably use a Muck on you. Yeah, let's use a muck on you. Where is it? Uh, not devour magic, not dispel a muck. Wherefore art thou? Right here. Rage released. There we go. Now with your increased damage, agony blast, please. Really, only two crits? Come on. Yeah, try harder. Really. Uh, you can't use for hunger for hearts, but you're full HP, so you can just keep attacking normally. Are you gonna really miss? Wow, 50. Oh, man. That's not good. Uh, yeah, you guys keep attacking the mummy. You do that. Good luck with that. Uh, you have no debuffs to eat, but wait, maybe this guy will cast some debuff. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Skelly boy. He's already hurt, but he can't heal. Oh well. Uh, we could go for an Eternity of Misfortune, but that doesn't really do anything for us here. Uh, Vengeance Beam will at least curses them. Ah, let's curse them, I suppose. Uh, when an ally dies, blah 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 blah, it's the only option. Do it. Extinction of life. The curses will at least keep you permanently healing. And then you, I guess you're going to have to go with Unnerving Fortitude just to buff yourself up since you can't use Endless Mediocrity on yourself. Alright, fine. Use Unnerving Fortitude on, let's say... Ah, uh, let's say the damp here. Or who's the least likely to get attacked? I would say the Vampire. Use it on the Vampire. There we go. Alright, yeah, so you're gonna attack the Dampir. Dampir, go for a Sundering Storm. No, go for another Agony Blast. Yeah, you need a little bit more accuracy. Although I don't know whether the boss will have a... will give us a need for accuracy. But anyway, kill the champion. There we go, that's how you reanimate. play. You're getting there. Uh, let's see, you're going to attack the Skelly Boy again. He is immune to debuff, so that's not a concern. You could curse everyone again, I guess. Huh, why is your vengeance- oh, it's because you moved, right, 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 right. Uh, you could use Unavoidable Curse. They've actually suffered quite a bit of stress damage, ironically enough. Huh. Actually, maybe we should try it with the Wraith. You know what, I'll try to bring the Wraith next fight. I'm curious. There might be some, uh, some nicer synergy here, at least while we can't do anything. Alright, stress attack deals damage, and no, I want another curse on him. But let's go Unavoidable Curse on you. Because we're going to be going after you after we go and kill the champion. There we go. Ew. Keep killing the champion. Probably won't be able to kill him this turn. But he's getting there. Yeah, you're going to attack the Skelly Boy. My skelly Boy's going to fight comes. back with his... Uh, stress thing. Holy stents. What does this do again? Heals to... Can I read? Game? Oh my god, that's a lot of healing. Every time, yeah, that's an obnoxious level of heals. Uh, targeted stress damage. Okay, so no more targeted stress damage, please. What we could do from here is, I think... Wait, not Vorpal Strike, but Vorpal Smite. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but you have what? Uh, each, oh, it's each buff, not each buff and debuff. Nah, it's not that good. It's not that good. Just go back into Unnerving Fortitude, I think. Just keep yourself alive. Yeah, keep yourself alive. Are we gonna kill you now? Uh, you. Sundering Storm, please. I feel like it does more damage, even though... It doesn't. <laughs> I suppose the crits could be higher, so that's an option. Uh, yeah, just go for this guy. Yeah, that did not do nearly as much damage as I was hoping it would. And we really need to break your stance. Mm, okay. Uh, well, nobody's doing targeted stress damage. It's still like <laughs> Hopefully we can kill you next turn. Uh, you. Don't do any targeted stress damage. Just go... Wait, no. Just go, uh, go to the end of the round and then use Cursed Feast after everybody else is done. Yeah, yeah. You keep attacking the mummy. Keep attacking the mummy. Your luck ran out. And why does this guy really want to debuff the Skelly? Okay, at least you're absorbing this guy's weak attack, but he's 26 to 29. I think he's one of the weakest attackers they have. He's 
Yeah, he's weak. At physically attacking. At least he's insane now. And we can't let them escape, though. We have to be careful about that. Uh, you can now... I was gonna say eat debuffs, but... There's no debuffs to eat. Hmm. You could use Eternity of Misfortune. Uh, but nobody has negative luck, so it's kind of pointless. I guess we could just do another Vengeance Beam. Just curse them again. There you go. Evil comes for you. There you go. Now they're all cursed and they'll keep healing you off of that. You use one more Sundering Storm, the Vampire should be able to finish you. Unless you miss everything, and unless the Vampire misses. Uh, you once again into Unnerving Fortitude just to stay alive. Yeah, I really feel like we have three useful minions and one not useful minion. That's that's kind of the problem with this entire, uh, with this team thus far. There we go, you're dead. That's another permanent buff for the Vampire, and you die from a heart attack. Now the question is, who gets a credit for that? Did the Vampire get the credit for that, or did the Mummy get the credit for that? Uh, no, Mummy has still one credit apiece for Spirit Spear and Spirit Chainmail. You have, what, you should have, what, three, right? In fact, yeah, you have three. So wait, so nobody got a credit for that? That's... Huh. Well, Dread is just bad then. Weird. Or maybe I'm miscounting something. Maybe I'm miscounting. Ah, uh, you go to the end of the round. Alright, you're gonna set the Skelly on fire. Nope, he's immune to fire. He's not immune to dying, though. Uh, what are you at? You are at one HP. And we have no way of using Battle Eternal. I think you're dead, buddy. I don't think... Ooh, I don't think there's any way to do anything about this. Man. What the hell do we do? Ah, poor Skelly boy. Uh, we could use Rites of Carnage to give everybody a lot of luck. Including the enemy. Maybe if we can kill this guy. Ah, but the Inquisitor has AoE attacks. No, but the, what's the equi- inqui wait, who damaged you? Was it the mercenary captain? Ah, oh, damn it. I really don't like how this gives the enemy his luck. And the Inquisitor already has very, very high luck. That's the concern here. At least you'd be dead that way. Hmm. i just do it. Presence of the Red God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you. You're not going to be driving this guy insane, I don't think. Curse is the target. It's just its just not a lot of curse damage, that's the thing. If only it was more. The Eternity of Misfortune does a decent bit of curse damage, though. 50 to 6. Uh, if it crits, it might kill you. You have a lot of luck, mummy. If it crits, it might... No, it won't kill you, though. Hmm. Well, let's just try it anyway. You will soon embrace it did crit, your but it, you're, you're not dead. And then you... Well, now that's the question. Now, who do we target with you? Hmm. I guess just keep going for, uh... For returning strike. Nah. You know what? Go for returning strike on the Inquisitor. Yeah, just get that... Remove, start removing that block. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have gone, uh... Well, nothing's gonna help you survive this, are you? You have one debuff and you have one... Ah, uh, just use a Vorpal Smite. Although I suppose if you use Unnerving Fortitude, you might be able to completely ignore damage if they don't crit. Although if you use Creepy Clank, there's a possibility that this guy will just straight up die of a heart attack. What's a better option? Uh, just try, just, just try Creepy Clank. Let's hope that this works out. Perish. You're insane and you're in a heart attack. What does your insanity do? Minus five initiative decreases damage dealt. That doesn't matter because one damage is kind of unstoppable. You now can't use your attacks. Uh, what if we push you forward with an... With an mm, that'll set the mummy on fire, but maybe it doesn't matter. Use this. Go forward. Yes, mummy's ignited. That's fine. Uh, damn it. Uh, what can we do? I guess you can use Unavoidable Curse, or you can eat the... You know what, that doesn't matter, you'll kill yourself anyway. Just stay on fire. Crit Curse on ya. Let's see what you do. Are you gonna use your AoE attack? You're gonna go for the Vampire. I don't know what you were doing. Okay, I can't believe... I can't believe you're still alive. Uh, Vorpal Smite, I guess. 
It'll at least remove his block for somebody else to kill him. Yeah, do it. Break that bone. There we go. A little bit of damage there. You. Uh, damn it, I actually wanted you to get the kill here. But that's not gonna happen because we have to kill you before you move again. Returning strike. Nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wanted you to get the kill. You did get the kill. The My word. Side. Another weird mandolin. I really wish the game would stop trying to give us weird mandolins. Wait, that's what we got out of the Philosopher's Stone? These garbage items that we weren't even using on the first floor? Come on, game. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Alrighty. Who? I'm loving the difficulty here on the edge of my seat. Okay, you stay in here. Actually, you don't need to stay in here, but you definitely need to stay in here. Uh, we'll keep leveling the bride. You know what? Let's try it with the wraith. Let's try it like this. I don't know, but we'll try it. The problem is, the Wraith is useless for bosses. It's absolutely useless for bosses. It does nothing. Uh, let's go Artifacts. Wait, let's see what the next fight is. Oh, the next fight is a quest. Uh, that's kind of an issue. Damn, look at all these fights. But it's needed levels. Oh, wait. Lol, the oh, wow. Basically, possible fight and then fight, 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 fight to an elite fight. And then keep going. At least we got a furry minion out of this. Yeah. Ooh. Alrighty, tough floor. Tough floor. Uh, yeah, you guys are gonna head on in here. I don't believe we can give it- we can use a consumable anyway, so just- Just keep on, let's see what this quest says. Have Black Widow and Lost Soul Care- oh, it's unfortunate. Uh, a mortal army can't fight without food, and there are the many advantages of undeath. After stumbling across an undefended storage room, you see several ways in which you can exploit this opportunity. But, you will need to do so quickly before the guards that were supposed to protect this stash return. Retreat, never. Guards are likely to return. Yeah, I know. Fine. We'll, we'll fight. And who do we have? Oh, that looks like an elite. Are they all elites? What the hell? Uh-oh. That looks like, a, yeah, elite mercenary captain and elite knight. Uh, I am concerned. Not gonna lie, I am concerned. Oh, and he's gonna reduce all the stress damage that you guys do. Well, on the bright side, Ghostly Inferno spam will be able to... Hmm... Oh, we could use a straight-up Panic Blast, make them all swap positions, might push this guy- Oh, we won't push him forward that much, though. Hmm. I don't really care about the chance to escape, but the swap positions might be a decent option. You know what, start start with the Panic Blast. Oh, make him swap. Leave a mark. Ah, damn it, I was hoping somebody would move back here to force the Standard Bearer to move. But oh well, it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, we need to kill you. Remove all of his block, or remove all of his magic damage. Ah, oh, but we have redirect, we still have to kill the knight. Damn it, yeah, just kill the knight first then. Give them the redirect's gonna cause magic. problems if it doesn't die. Alrighty. Uh, you start with that returning strike. I suppose we could use a grand auspex on you as well. It'll push you forward though, we can wait on that. Use it on the standard bearer once the knight is dead. So returning strike, go. We do have the mana that I think we will use a muck on the, uh, on the dump here. You are gonna go for you, that's okay. We are indeed without end. Remove everybody's wards. Missing block, okay, that one's okay. Yes, you move forward, Knight, you move forward. Let's go for a Vengeance Beam. Curse everybody. Keep you buffing yourself. There we go, or healing yourself, rather. Maximum heals. Yeah, you guys keep attacking the mummy. You, go for Ghostly Inferno. Curse out, no, go for you. I want your, there we go, your ward is now gone. You guys are all cursed. Or as cursed as you're gonna get at this stage in the game. And you, keep on playing with the Sundering Storm after we pop in a muck on you. Rage released. Indeed, okay, and knight, or elite knight rather, die please. Ooh, hope there will still be I wasn't actually expecting you to do that much damage. You're you have six HP, vampire. Please don't miss. Finish this night. Nice, nice. Get more kills for the vampire, which means more damage, more buffs. Yes, and more vigor on top of it. Ooh, a little bit of debuffs for the mummy to eat this time. You're now insane, which is nice. Hey, how dare you hit the mummy? Rude. Cursed feast. Heal yourself. There we go. And you, get another Ghostly Inferno in there on all three. Alright, alright, we're definitely getting a lot more use out of the Wraith in, uh, 
non-single target boss fights. Oh, that's not good. Just as I was uh, singing the Wraith's praises. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, who do we kill next? Hmm, we probably could kill the... Nah, just kill the Paladin next. Oh, but it's got armor. Man, do we move you to the end of the round, strip its armor first with the damp here? Yeah, I think we do that. Fine, uh, you. We could... We probably should use Hunger for Hearts, shouldn't we? Yeah, use it now. Don't use Grand Auspex yet. And let us... I guess you could use a Returning Strike anyway, but use it on somebody else, like... Ah, oh, you have all your block, though. Ah, fine, just use it on you. Hey, it's still crit. Okay, we're still good too. there. We're still good there. Now you can remove its armor down here. Go. And do decent damage. You should be dead next turn. And then we'll kill the standard bear. You hit pretty hard, don't you? Oh, that was just a debuff, which you won't be able to remove. Oh, wow. That's a strong debuff. Damn, douse and tonic. Huh, apparently... Apparently undead are not good at dealing with being doused in alcohol. Go figure. Not sure how that one works. And let's see. Yeah, we'll go for one more Ghostly Inferno. At least you'll remove this ward. Maybe get a crit of it somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Is that another douse and tonic? All right, well... Fortunately, you can eat those. Uh, you, Sundering Storm, yet again on the pally, please. Ain't no pal of mine. There we go, that's an insanity. Chance to flee has increased. Oh, really, the paladin is the one that's gonna run? Oh, that's funny. Oh, see, now the, uh, now the wraith is starting to take damage. Now that it's... Huh. Oh, it's got 16 evasion loss. Okay, we really need to remove that. Uh, you, go for another returning strike. Let's see if you can't finish this guy. A nice crit, but not enough. Unfortunate. You, you're going to have to use Cursed Feast. I'm actually tempted to use Stall on you. No, but we should be able to kill you anyway, so you're fine. Okay, re eat those debuffs. There we go. Yeah, you keep healing the sanity. We don't really care about that. Uh, Wraith. One more time. I mean, honestly, you don't have many options with regards to this. I guess we could use Survival and uh, give, give you more block and ward. But meh, I think you're okay. I think you're okay. There's another crit curse. Uh, these guys are both insane, and uh, this is a pretty nice mixed damage team, actually. I was theorizing about using the Wraith here last episode, so yeah, you finish this night, or Paladin, rather. Oh, now you crit. You could have crit last round. Uh, now we need to remove the Mercenary Captains. Yeah, we're not afraid of... Oh, wow, you do a lot of damage now. Yeah, let's remove your armor, kill you as fast as possible. I really wish you wouldn't miss. I think we need to give you guys a little bit more accuracy. We're gonna do AoE damage to everybody and debuffs to everybody, but... No, oh, I didn't mean to use that. Uh, oh, it's the end of the round anyway, okay. <laughs> My bad, I just got into a habit of making the uh, mummy wait until the end of the round. For a second I thought that uh, it would it would mean it just completely skips its turn. And let's see, you Sundering Storm yet again, I think. On ya. Oh, ah, this one of them again. At least you're close to dying. Get another Ghostly Inferno in there, please. Aha, nice heart attack. Okay, now let, let's just double check that you got the credit for that one. Stats, uh... Oh, you have credits for four. I don't remember you getting this many kills. Well, you're you're in the you're part of the team now. Uh, we should probably give you some more armor and stuff. Anyway, you... Try to get this kill with a returning strike, I hope. We could try to use a Cursed Doll, and then use your attack. It's the, the possibility exists that that would kill you if we did it like that. I guess we could try. Let's see. Returning strike. Yep, please. Crit, crit, crit. No crit. And one HP. <laughs> okay, that's only- that's fair game. That's fair. After all, the, uh, our, our, uh... Our guy survived with one HP, so it's only fair. Uh, you do this. There we go. And then you are going to wait. And you are going to wait. I think you're maxed out, right? Uh, you are at... No, eight and five. No, you need more kills then. What about the vampire? Nope, not Dampier. Vampire, what are you at? Gathering those effects. You are at six and six. Okay, so the, the Dampier can feel free to get this kill. There you go. 
There we go. Now you're both at six and six. Mop up the and that one went pretty darn well. Hey, we got two bones out of it. Not using it as fertilizer. But we get we get no quest reward. Oh, okay. What do we have here? In battle, all enemies lose twenty percent vigor and twenty percent sanity. Swell. I wish we had gotten this before the boss. After having dealt with the mortals trying to retrieve their supplies, you turn your attention back to the provisions, carefully applying one of your own personal hexes. The effect should be near instantaneous. Swell, swell. Another battle for us next, and I think we're going to head, head out to it with the same team. I just want to double check. Yeah, see, I didn't realize that that would be a battle, so I didn't put anybody in here. Uh, we need to level. I guess we'll keep leveling you and you. You guys are all in line for a new brain. Uh, wait, what about the skelly boy? Oh yeah, he didn't heal. Okay, so it's fine that we didn't put anybody in the arena. Okay, so that worked out. That worked out. And let's see, how many more bones do we need? Probably gonna, It's probably too late to start using the bone golem, isn't it? Mm, whatever. Uh, let's use the gambling chip. It embellishes my undead features. Yes, yes, Aratus, I know, I know. It embellishes your undead features. And... Keep the Ring of Purity, because it's the best one I think we have right now. I wanted to go to creation, I want to see six... Only six bones remaining. <laughs> Will we get the Bone Golem before the end of this? I mean, with all these battles, there's a decent chance we'll get at least a couple more bones. Oh, well, let's try it. Uh, I think we, we're okay. I hope we're okay. <laughs> oh, two champions now. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh well. And be wait, what are your features again? Ally dies. Oh right. And priestess. We've read these guys. Yeah, yeah, with the brainwashed mages. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ghost the Inferno. There go. Savor these last few. There we go. Hearts. Curses in there. Who are you gonna damage? Please hit the mummy. Oh, don't attack the Wraith. It can't heal itself. Leave it alone. Uh you. I guess start with a Sunring Storm, just do as much damage as you can. Start killing the one that's less insane, because the other one might be this driven insane. Be so it'll be less effective anyway. Aha, they're exactly what I'm talking about, it's got Betrayal Chance, so I do like that. Hey, hey, stop that. We might need to heal you. Oh, you're in your Holy Aegis stance now, so no more targeted stress damage. Uh, huh, so what'll the Wraith do then? Uh, oh, one of the problems with this team is it can't break stances, can it? Mm. Oh well, that is what it is. It is what it is. You're gonna go for returning strike. No need for hunger for hearts until you get hurt. Nice crit though. Nice crit. Mummy, I was... Ah, damn it, I wanted to curse you all, but... Uh, since there's no way to break your stances, it's pointless to do anything like that. And your abilities are all stress, so you're gonna just have to do nothing, essentially. Oh, you know what? I probably should have waited until you moved, because in case you, you're gonna heal. What is this? Uh, prayer for salvation. Okay, you need to die, like, now. Uh, you're going to wait, actually. You're going to please betray somebody. Okay, well, at least you removed a block. That worked out. That worked out. Sundering Storm, please kill this. Heals the target for- yeah, okay, and... Ah! So, prayer for salvation is very similar- oh, wow, it's actually a much more powerful version of the Lost Souls attack. Much more power- or heal, rather. Much more powerful. Uh, kill this thing, please. Extinction of life. There we go. Now you you both get buffed, so now you need to die ASAP. You're out of your st Are you really back into that damn stance? <laughs> yeah, we... Huh. Now I'm thinking we need a stance breaker instead of the Wraith. Even though the Wraith is doing good, these guys just nullify its, uh, its use completely. Although I, I still don't know whether targeted stress damage applies to AoE stress damage, but uh, I feel like we tested it once and it does, so I'm... I'm not gonna risk it. Hope Kill this guy. Is, uh, enough left to he doesn't have a lot of HP, but the next hit is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, damn you and your prayers for damn salvation, your damn heals. <laughs> oh, man. I really wish we had a spell that broke stances. I think there's a stun spell which would serve to do this, but unfortunately, not something we could do. We can't use Savage Raps either, so just keep... Basically keep doing nothing. And you, since you have nothing to do, you are going to first use Spectral Fog. Uh, wait, no, you're going to use Survival. Yes, use Survival. And then use Spectral Fog. There you go. 
Probably should have used it right here instead. Ah, doesn't matter. Does not matter. You use another Sunring Storm. I fear that this guy's gonna survive. Well, let's hope. I mean, he has 41 evasion, so you have a decent chance to miss with 20%. We could try... I just try... Don't oh, miss, don't miss, don't miss. Okay, no misses. If the vampire doesn't miss, there's a decent chance here. Uh, you know what? Use a preemptive cursed doll. You just need to hit once. You have a. He's only what 10% chance. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay, good. Now this guy is going to be real tough to kill with his uh, revenge. Hey, stop that. Your last. Okay, now you're out of your stance, so you are free to use vengeance beam, which we were hoping to use earlier. There we go. My life belongs to the order. Yes, we know. Doing nothing there. And you. I guess you're just going to use Ghostly Inferno on both of them. Keep cursing them. There we go. Now, all your wards are gone and you're cursed. We can hopefully drive you insane soon. Uh, you might need to use your healing ability. Uh, if we use Exquisite Thrust, we'll be able to heal you next turn. But then we won't be able to remove your armor. I suppose we could have the Vampire use its Grand Ages instead. Or Grand Auspects, rather, not Grand Ages. Those are not the same. Ah, uh, fine. Use Exquisite Thrust on the... No, that'll... That won't go through the block. And this won't go through the armor. The reason I want to move her up is uh, so that we can use Aim for the Heart. Man, you know what you're going to do? You're going to wait. You're going to wait. You are going to use... Grand Auspects... Ignore block and ward. Doesn't ignore armor, but use it on you. There we go. That'll move you forward. And we'll have to use hunger for hearts next, I'm willing to bet. Uh, this does kind of throw our uh, throw our team off kilter, but it is what it is. I guess you are going to then use impending misery. Your frail body fail you. What are you going to do? You're going to attack these two. That should be just fine. Now, you get to move twice. Uh, so, you are first going to move forward like this. Wait. How much does Exquisite... Oh, it moves you forward pretty well. Okay, fine. Go right here. There we go. And then, use aim for the... Oh, good. Now you're insane. That really worked out. Now you get to move again. This time, use aim for the heart. Right here. Nice crit. There we go. Now you're full HP. Okay, that, that worked. That worked. Now, what can you do from the back row? I never meant to put you back here. I suppose we should just start spamming Spectral... Um, removes all buffs. Wait, will this remove Revenge? I feel like it won't. Find out. It would be good to know if it does. Your new existence. No, it doesn't. Unfortunate. Then that's useless. Okay. Well, you f use Returning Strike. Maybe you can kill this thing. In fact, if we use a Cursed Dog... Yeah. Oh, you have too much magic Ooh, resistance, damn it. But you die anyway, 106 crit, very nice. Is it your turn yet? No, you have five left. Unavoidable curse. Well, let's see if you die here. Die, 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 come on, heart attack, heart attack, yes! <laughs> I had a feeling. Sometimes I, I, you just get a feeling, damn it, we got no bones out of that one. At least we got a green skull, better than no skull. Oh well. That worked out pretty well. All right, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this team this far. We got another smoking gun, which is fairly useless to us. And I guess we just keep going. One more battle left for what? I guess we got time for one more in this episode. Uh, head to the cultists. I believe everybody has their items now. I really wish you could pick the uh, the bone golem item preemptively. But oh well. Oh well. Yeah, all right. We're heading out to the cultists. You squad, go. What do we have here? Um, another curse bandages, a medal of betrayal, a tear of blood. Yeah, we have these. We have all these. So, who are we concerned about replacing? I.e., if they die, who's the most likely to die here? It's probably the vampire or the dampier, or I suppose the wraith. He is in kind of a dangerous position, but he has a lot of evasion and block and ward. Hmm. But the tear of blood is probably the least useful. Because a lot of enemies don't, just plain don't become insane. And this is useful, but if I feel like the Fallen Dampier is pretty unlikely to die now that we're giving her legendary items. Let's take the Phantom Clothes. There we go. I'll assign the extra skills between the episodes just so we don't waste time and uh, can do some extra battles. Now we do have a 
bit more consumables remaining. We could probably start getting a few extra brains up in here. Uh, let's see, how many consumables do we have, in fact? 5, 10, 15. How many fi Oh, with 15, how many fights do we have left? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, if we do it this way. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, so we have 18 fights, so we're almost at the point where we basically have to start using our consumables so that we uh, use them by the end of the game. Not quite, but uh, I suppose we'll save them for the later rounds just in case they're more tough. Although, we could... No, we should probably save the brains for the last rounds, shouldn't we, so that they're higher level. Yeah, alright, well, let, let's save these, let's just fight one more round as we've been fighting it, as it's been going fairly decently so far. I just want to double-check on our, uh, on our spirit spear and stuff before we head into it. Aha, the vampire's almost maxed out at 8 and 8. Uh, the dampier is at 10 and, okay, so 7 and 7 as far as I'm concerned, because we want your vigor maxed out. So we need 2 more kills for the vamp, uh, 3 more kills for the fallen dampier. You need 5 more kills, and you need a billion more kills. But that's really unlikely because the only kills you can get are dread or uh, dread team kills. I suppose if we manage to max U three out, if I decide to bring the wraith to the final battle, what we could do is bring back the dread team and just try to get the mummy to get all the kills. The possibility. But until then, one more fight. Oh, there's an elite here, an inquisitor and an elite priestess. Damn those priestesses! All right, well, okay. one more time. And there we go, you guys take a little bit more damage because of that quest stuff. Oh, please stop removing that stuff. Uh, you're a champion. Oh, you're in that freaking stance again. Ah, oh, I hate that so much. I guess you have nothing to do then, friendo. You are just going to go for survival and buff yourself up. Yeah, not much to do there. I really dislike that stance. And you. Well, go for a Sundering Storm. Much damage as possible. Make them suffer. At least they have no knight to uh, prevent you from uh, taking damage. There we go. You should be dead quite quickly. Depend. I mean, she's probably going to try to heal him, but it shouldn't matter. You're going to try to light you on fire. Okay. Yeah. See. <laughs> You're dead though. Predictable, elite priestess. Predictable. Uh, you. You're going to wait. Oh, you're the last one in this round, damn it. Man, I was gonna switch switch these guys. Hmm. And we can't break your stances. And Cursed Feast is pointless right now. And we can't use Savage Wraps. Unless we change you guys' position, but then you'll be on fire, and I don't want to do that. Although I do like the fact that you remove, uh... You remove buffs. Or you remove luck, rather. Uh, all right, just just do nothing. Just do nothing. I wish that this had an effect, other than uh, what it does. You still can't do anything while this uh, Holy Aegis stance is up, so keep up with that. Uh... Oh, you can't use survival from here? Okay, fine, use wait. I'll see what I want to do with you after. Uh, you, please kill us. Make them suffer. There we go. Down you go. Now the question is who do we kill next? I think the Inquisitor is the biggest threat, but they're kind of hard to kill. Hmm. What do we do here? We could use a Grand Auspex, but that would move you into the fire. I guess just keep using Returning Strike. Ah, oh, but it won't go through the wards. You know what? Fine, just use Grand Auspex. Uh, we'll hopefully heal you. I hope. I'm actually tempted to wait until the end of the round. Because, yeah, you know what? Wait. The thing is, I don't trust it. Ow! Oh, that's gonna be an... <laughs> that's gonna be annoying. Uh, you. You're also gonna wait. Everybody wait. You guys do your thing first, and then we'll, uh, we'll react to whatever you guys are doing. Now, you, you have waited long enough in the sense that you can't do anything anymore. Uh, I suppose we could use Spectral Fog right here, so it'll be where you are. It will light you- this will light you on fire. Actually, the ward will prevent you from being lit on fire, but it's still an annoyance. But it is what it is. Do it. There we go. Now you've got a ton of evasion, 89%, so it's pretty unlikely that you're gonna get damaged here. I guess we just keep using Returning Strike. We can't make you wait, and we can't remove your armor. 
These guys have... Man. Yeah, fine. Just use Grand Auspex. I don't like the fact that it'll push you out of position, but it is what it is. Do it. There we go. And then we'll use Hunger for Hearts next time. It's your turn. You can't use your skills once again, so just keep going into Cursed Feast. I'm so sick of that damn stance. <laughs> oh, I'm so sick of it. Okay, fine. Uh, you are going to use Survival. Push yourself forward. There we go. Good luck hitting this thing. And then you, Sunring Storm, I guess we're killing the... You know what, you start attacking the Pally and we'll have the Vampire start attacking the Inquisitor. And then we'll then attack whoever you either don't choose or choose to attack. Although we could probably bring the Inquisitor down pretty quickly like this. Hmm. You know what, if we remove its, uh, if we remove its resistance, we could have the Wraith start using its uh, physical damage, although it does so little damage. I really don't want to buff you up either. Ah, just, just kill the Inquisitor. My kingdom comes! Yes, yes, yes. You, returning strike, please. There we go. Alright, two more hits from you guys should finish the Inquisitor off. Aha. Oh, you're not in your stance anymore? Big mistake, buddy. You should have stayed in that one. Uh, we are then going to use Vengeance Beam. There we go. Start moving wards. I probably could have waited. Wait. You can heal both of them at the same time for an insane amount? Are you kidding me? I'm so sick of the enemy and their ability to heal everything. Ah, well, let's start cursing them. At least the mummy won't uh, feel the pain here. Kill this damn thing. Perish. Vampire, finish this. Uh, well, not yet. Uh, mummy, you can wait this time. Although, we could use another vengeance beam, but it won't kill you. Yeah, we'll wait for the vampire to do it. Vampire, you're gonna need to heal yourself, so- wait. Uh, you guys are kind of okay, to be perfectly honest. We really need to remove that debuff, though. Damn. I hate that debuff. Uh, yeah, just do this. Please tell me this will kill you. Please don't miss. No, he has zero evasion. Do we use Hunger for Hearts, or do we save it for Wrath Heal? You're not that damn- you know what, I think you're fine. There this we go. one voided its bowels. Oh, just now you're insane. Died. Oh, your chance to flee is increased. I don't like that. We still want the rewards from you guys. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you keep healing that thing. We'll kill you then. We will kill you. You remove debuffs, please. There we go. Mummy just keep an eternal as it likes to do. Can't take any damage, apparently. And you guys just keep getting first. There we go. That's the last ward from you. Now you are going to remove all of its block, I guess. It has no armor in the first place, so just remove it all. There we go. Can't let this thing keep healing. You're gonna go back into your stance of annoying me, and just kill the priestess now. There we go. A decent bit of damage. Oh, now you guys are ignited. We'll eat that, but we'll need to heal both of you now. And you can't do anything, can you? I guess you could go for... You know what we'll do? We'll use a Spectral Fog right here. Which will provide the benefit of allowing the Dampier to heal herself with a name for the heart if she manages to land this one. And in fact, she probably will if we use a Rites of Carnage. Presence of the Red God. Yes, yes. Aim for the heart, please. Do it. There's a crit. There's a full HP. And now you're insane. Beautiful. Now you, Hunger for Hearts... And returning strike to heal yourself to full. And a kill. Beautiful. Now, just you remaining. Let's see what you're going to be able to do all by your lonesome. Nothing. You're going to be able to do nothing. Except go back into the stand so that you guys can't do anything. <laughs> I hate you so much. Okay, uh, you just keep doing nothing then. But you're still the rock. You're keeping the team alive. You... What do we do with you? You know what? Uh, use, use Far Grasp. Zero damage. Oh, you're gonna, you're trying to escape. No, 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 no. Oh, you're gonna, oh, I think this guy's gonna run away. Damn it. Uh, wait, is there any way to do this? He has 27 luck. Uh, if we use an Amok on you. Rage released. I just want this guy to not escape. Use Sunring Storm, please. How much damage this does? Give them no mercy. Not a lot. Oh, man. Ah, oh, this guy's gonna get out. <laughs> There's no way to stop him. 
Probably could have tried to push you forward to use deep bite, but oh well. 27. It's because of all the damage reduction, and we can't remove it. Is there any way to stop this guy from running away with you? Uh, you can't stun, and he's still in his stance. Yeah, there's no way to stop it. And we can't use any spells. Damn it. Oh well, well this guy's gonna get up. What the hell? Did he escape so or did he die somehow? I couldn't tell what happened there. Maybe he escaped, but it looked like he melted. Hey, we got another Martyr's Rags, and nobody's hurt, so this team's working out pretty decently. And we got an Archmage's Robes, which is not that good compared to what we have. And I believe we are now out of time. As I said, I'm going to assign the stats between the episodes so we don't have to waste the time there. And then... Hmm. How are we in terms of kills? You're maxed out now. And you are... You go, You need two, two more Dampir. Wraith still needs five, and you still need everyone. But how are you going to get kills? The only way we could possibly get kills with you is to move you into the third position and just start spamming, uh, start spamming clinging wraps. The only way to do it. And it does so little damage, too. But oh well. Oh well, I'm liking this team so far. I certainly am. Next time, we will proceed with plenty more battles, at least three or four, possibly five if we can get to this elite squad. We certainly went through a quite a bit of a distance in this particular episode, so I, uh, I do see this being pretty productive. And then going around and around like that. Although, there was a lot of space between these things. Hmm. But it's still a lot of extra battles that we could possibly get bones and stuff out of. So yeah, I like this path. We will continue along it next time. So with that said, as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and a rate comment to support the channel. It really, really does help. As always, all glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.